when you are playing melodies and you want to sound more Hawaiian on, on your Weissenborn guitar, the idea is that you play these melodies more going up and down in the string instead of going from one string to the other. For instance, let's say we have the Aloha Oe melody, yeah? Ideally, we want to do... just on one string, you know. Um, you can hear the difference if I play it in different strings, like... Okay. It sounds more Hawaiian every melody when, when you're just playing on one string, and then you can slide up and down better and connect the notes. Which is something more difficult to do when you're changing the strings all the time, yeah? Not that you cannot change the string, but the more you can stay on one, the more fluent everything is going to be. Now, it's very important when you play Hawaiian music that you get the right feel for the music, the right groove, we will call it sometimes, or in Hawaiian terms, it's just playing nahe nahe, which is very smooth and relaxed, laid back. So basically, it's something as simple as not rushing the melodies, you know, and, and just laying back every note as much as you can, which means like a good exercise is like when you practice, if you practice with a metronome, just play this game. Just try to play with a metronome, but always try to wait till the very, very, very last minute before you hit the next note. It's like you're almost gonna be out of time, but you reach right there on time, you know? So we say, a, we do a melody like. Okay, we can do it like very square with the metronome like. Or we can just hold back as much as possible. Okay. So that will help us to, to sound more nahe nahe. Same thing with the chords, etc. You know, with the chords, we can do it by switching chords and, and holding back. And on the way somewhere, the nice thing is that we can do that a slide up to the chord. And when we do the slide up, you take your time. You don't go like fast, like you go, you hold it like. Sometimes even the down beat will be right there and you were supposed to change on the first beat of the, of the new bar, okay, for the new chord. But even though if you arrive a little late because you're in the middle of the slide, it still sounds good. You know? you know? So that will help you to sound more nahe nahe. When it comes to playing vibrato, there are so many different vibratos, okay, that it's, it's an endless possibilities, okay? But let's take a look here at different ways to do it. Okay, there are different ways we can do it, like we can change the speed of the vibrato, we can change the place where we do the vibrato, like where we start the vibrato on the note, or when do we stop, or we can make like a hybrid kind of thing, you know? For instance, let's take one note and we play the vibrato and slow vibrato right on the note, right? When we hit the note, we start the vibrato and it goes until the note, the note goes away, like. Okay. I can do the same thing, full vibrato from beginning to end, but fast. This sounds really nice, for instance, when you choose vibratos, sometimes it goes with the tempo of the song. Also, you know, like you have a slow song, obviously a slow vibrato is gonna sound sweeter and more nahe nahe. And when you have like a very upbeat kind of song and funky and funny, then you might want to do a very fast vibrato and sometimes even exaggerate. But don't think this is not a thumb rule that you're always gonna use. Uh, sometimes you can have a, a fast piece and 
and use some slow vibrato just to make some contrast, okay? But now let's take into a different vibrato. We can do fast, slow, and right now we're doing it, the vibrato all around the note from beginning to end in the length of, of while the note is, is ringing, yeah? But we can start playing the note without vibrato and then halfway there, before the, the sound disappears, we start the vibrato. So we'll basically start the note flat, I mean straight, and then vibrato at the end, like this. So you see I start straight. And then in the middle I start the vibrato. Same thing we could do that with a fast vibrato. Okay. We could do the other way around. We could start with the vibrato and then cut the vibrato and leave the last tail of the sound just with no vibrato, like. Okay, that was like a middle speed vibrato. We could do it fast. And what it works really nice and is very musical on this kind of, of vibrato is if we start sometimes with a faster vibrato and then we go slow and then we end up with no vibrato like this. So imagine you, you can change so many different details on the vibrato that you have to be conscious about that when you're playing, you know. Um, and that will enhance your playing and make you sound also more in the Hawaiian side. Although the vibrato is something you can apply to many other styles. When you're going from one note to the next and you're using the, the slide or the glissando, right? Well, you're always using the slide bar anyway. But when, what I mean is when you're making the slide connecting two notes, there are different ways to do it also. Okay. Sometimes uh, we can plug one note and move to the next. Okay. That's a very common thing. But something that sounds very Hawaiian is when you actually play the note, go to the next, and then plug the note one more time. Okay, but you have to make sure when you reach the second note, it's clear that you reach that note. So don't go too fast and, and, and plug one more time, you know, just take just a second. Okay, so if you do like a scale, Okay, or just going straight. Okay, so it's a very subtle difference, but it is a difference, you know, and, and Hawaiian-wise, you will use the second way a lot, you know. Also, it will work with the chords too, you know. Okay, when it comes to Hawaiian music, something very popular and, and very famous in Hawaiian music is their, their falsetto singing, okay? And we imitate this with, the, with what we call the chimes in, in Hawaii, which is the harmonics. You have natural harmonics, you have artificial harmonics. Um, so basically always when you're playing and you want to sound more Hawaiian, make sure you always go one run of the melody play with harmonics, you know? Usually you might play a melody like... Okay, imagine that's the full melody. So make sure like one time around, you just play it with harmonics. Okay, even sometimes you can combine both, you know?
Um, in many Hawaiian songs, you'll find that you'll find parts, you know, where where they are doing the, the whole thing with harmonics, especially with natural harmonics. Okay, in, in Hawaiian style for the for the steel guitar, you'll find a lot of natural harmonics. You know, like you can see, for instance, if you hear the famous Moana chime. <laughs> You hear a whole part, it's like. So very important, the chimes, they have to be there to give that Hawaiian flavor. Okay, I was talking on about the falsetto singing, and one combination that you do with the falsetto, and it's very Hawaiian, is that imitating that yodeling feel, you know, when you're singing, and we do it with the, with the steel guitar too. In order to do this, what we do is, it's like a hammer-on on the, on the guitar, coming from an open string, and this is combined with a slide going up. So let's say I'm playing this note, Okay, so I will play the open string, then I will make a hammer on, okay, but I'm not falling straight to the note like this. I'm coming from under a little bit, like half a step under, and then I slide it up. Okay, make sure your hammer is clean, make sure you also you mute right after you do the hammer on, so you don't drag noises from behind the, the bar. Okay, that's super important. Um, and that's how you make the, the jodeling, you know. Don't overuse the jodeling, of course. You know, you're putting some notes like. Okay, so always find the taste to use all these, all these tricks, you know, and all these techniques. All of them, the vibrato, the jodeling, harmonics, etc. Never overuse them. So, this jodeling technique is super Hawaiian. <laughs> if you want to sound Hawaiian, and not only sound, but also get the right touch to your music, especially also if you compose music or, or you improvise, improvise your music, it's, it's very important to always be on the turnaround. In Hawaiian music we found turnarounds. Turnarounds are certain phrases that we use, it's what we call turnaround. It's basically something that happens at the end of the vamp or the chord progression and it's gonna turn the whole thing around, basically just bringing us back to the beginning to go around one more time, you know? So turnarounds have the characteristic that, you know, they will take you out, but when you do it for the very last time in the song, you have to finish on the one or the tonic, okay? But that's more like theory, music theory, we're not gonna get there. So basically there are certain turnarounds always in Hawaiian music that you want to know. The more you know, the better. And also always be aware of when to put them. And even when you're improvising or doing something, just finish up your, your work with a nice turnaround, you know. It's not only gonna make it very Hawaiian sounding, but it also helps for the music and, and the musicians playing, you know, because there is also a language when you're playing, a language, a musical language that you use to communicate to, to other players. And when a player hears a turnaround, they know where they are, and it's telling them where they are and where we're going, okay? So it's, it's, it's a, way, a really perfect way to communicate without having to look at anybody or making funny signs when you're on stage, for instance, etc. No, and it's just the language of music. So basically we have a few of them. I mean, you probably heard them before when you hear Hawaiian music, like... You know. Okay, or different variations, the same turnaround we can finish going down.
okay, or other fancy ones like. And then you can combine several turnarounds because sometimes turnarounds in Hawaiian music are used to, to wait somewhere, you know? You might play a whole verse with singing and then something else is coming, but you're gonna wing it, which is very common. And so you want to stay in the turnaround. So basically you get to repeat the turnaround over and over and you want to make variations of it. So here it comes handy to know how to make variations of the same turnaround or just connect different turnarounds, you know, like the ones we just did. Okay, or we can go higher like... different ones. So make sure you learn plenty of turnarounds. They are very easy to learn and to copy. Obviously you can find plenty of them on all my books and, and, and instructional videos. So let's go to the next tip. Okay, this is circles with thirds, not circles of thirds, okay, for those who study more music and know what I'm talking about. Basically, it's something very simple. Uh, we're gonna harmonize a lot in Hawaiian music. We always take a melody, we play the melody in single notes, but after that, we just harmonize it, which means like we're gonna put a third or a sixth on the melody and do it like with two voices. Like we could have that would be a single melody single note melody, and when we harmonize it, we go, okay, or we can go, okay, there are different ways. Basically, at this point, I would recommend you, you learn very well how to play thirds on the first and second string, and also on the first and the third string, okay, so that would be, a good preparation for you because you're gonna find them all over and you're gonna use them a lot, not only in Hawaiian music. So these are the thirds, but where does the circle come? Um, the circle is basically the way we're playing it, okay? It will help you to be very Hawaiian when you make circles with your left hand actually, okay? So let's say I'm, I'm connecting thirds. I have these thirds here. So basic, basically what I'm doing is connecting the notes of the thirds. But instead of just going like this, I'm just doing a circle with my hand and on the way up, I'm playing the first string and on the way down, I'm playing the second string like. Okay, or I can go the other way around. Okay, so it's like, basically you have to imagine that you're doing a circle with your left hand and playing the notes at the same time. Okay, so we play this. Okay, so this way of, of reaching the notes is super Hawaiian. It's gonna make you sound very Hawaiian. Um, and especially what you want to sound in the old vintage Hawaiian music, like the likes of Soho OP or Kim Benin Awahi or guys of, of that era, yeah? You'll find that a lot. <laughs> 